With COVID-19, on average, one person might infect two others. And that's what was happening in the early stages of the pandemic. Super spreading is the idea that not everybody infects two others. Some cases might not infect anybody at all, and others might infect quite a lot of others. What we've seen in Hong Kong and elsewhere in the world is that actually a very small number of cases are doing most of the spreading, and those are the super spreaders. And what are the conditions for that to take place? We know some people are more contagious than others, but it doesn't only need someone to be a more contagious person to be a super spreader. We also need the environment, maybe a crowded setting, maybe indoor with lots of people, maybe poor ventilation, lots of close contact, lots of time there. Those are the kind of conditions where we've seen super spreading occur. So it's a combination of factors. So it's crowds. It might be, as I just suggested, funerals, weddings, those types of events. Almost How all the super spreading we've seen has been indoor indoor so i mean that's a really a key thing about super spreading so uh, given the information that you've gathered how do you try to stop not only super spreaders passing it on to other people but these super spreading events but we think the japanese approach the three c's avoid closed spaces avoid crowded places and avoid close contacts are really really important and if we can stop those larger outbreaks, it can really do a lot of good in terms of slowing down transmission without needing to resort to lockdowns. We just need to stop super spreading. And how long might that be in place for? You know, there's people trying to plan weddings or have funerals, and that really is not pleasant news to them. But of course, safety has to be a priority for authorities trying to look after uh, their population. So how long might sort of social distancing and avoiding big clusters of people be in part of our society? I think it's going to be in place for a while. We need to figure out ways that larger groups can still meet together, weddings, if you know, so on. Outdoors would be a good idea. Maybe less people in larger venues would be a good idea. But I think this is going to go on for six months or longer.